In this video, I'm going to go over all of the stuff that I'm going to teach in my new course, PowerPoint Printables. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It is how to create printables in Microsoft PowerPoint. So what are some ways that you can use printables? This is just the, t uh, the tip of the iceberg. There's so there's if you ever go on Etsy, you'll notice that in, if you type in printables, there's going to be millions of results. And so there's probably a thousand different things that you can consider printables. So this is just a short list to get you started with some ideas. Um, the first four are ones that I've made before, journals, planners, workbooks, and checklists. You can also make printables in homeschooling, of course, to make worksheets for the kids and, and other lesson plans and other things that you would print. Um, you can also do art prints as printables. You can also make calendars, greeting cards, meal planners, signs, handouts, any kind of binder inserts. Anything that you would use on a clipboard or any any type of paper at all, if you really think about it, there's there's really hundreds and there's probably thousands of different ideas, like, you know, even stationary. That's one of them. So there's the sky is the limit. It's really anything you want to create and print. So why make printables? Why make them yourself instead of buying them? So the main reason why it's good is so because you can make your own custom products, really. I mean, if you've ever bought a planner, you might have found that there's pages in there that you don't use or there are pages that you wish it had that it doesn't, you know, examples like that. Or if you're wanting to make something that's got your name on it, like say you wanted to make a sign that had somebody's name on it or an invitation or something like that and you can put your name on it or just however you want that's the beauty of it um printables sell really well on etsy um so there's a lot of people that make a living off of selling these on etsy they're one of the most popular items every business needs printables so businesses can use printables as far as printing out reports printing out handouts to hand out during meetings or even instruction manuals on how to do things and the last example on here is that you can save money if you have the information and you just need the product made. So this is something that you, would be helpful if you are a coach or a, a business owner or an author or someone that's teaching a course. If you got the information and you just want to make it accessible for the people to get it and learn it, that would be a good example where you could make things like checklists and workbooks. So why use PowerPoint to make these? Because most people actually already have this installed on their computer, and if they don't, there are free versions of this that are in different names. I think, um, I can't remember what some of them are called right now, but I know there are free alternatives to this. But this is actually really uh, inexpensive when it comes to design programs, because uh, if you buy PowerPoint, or not PowerPoint, if you buy Photoshop or InDesign, those are very expensive programs, and you only get the program. So if you're going to use the Microsoft 365 suite, it's called, that is where you get everything. You get Microsoft Word, you get Excel, you get a couple other different ones. I think there's three or four other ones, and I don't even use most of them. I pretty much just use PowerPoint for everything. So it's there's other options as well. You can just install any version, and then it's just a one-time only fee. But if you get the, the online version, it's all automatically updated, and you don't ever have to worry if you've got the newest version. So um, PowerPoint also allows you to create digital and printable designs not limited to animated slide presentations. So when you think of PowerPoint, you probably think of, you know, being in a meeting and watching a slide presentation with the animated images and words. And it doesn't it's it's really not limited to that at all. Literally anything that you can create digitally and you can print it out that can become a printable. So at the very basic minimum, let's say you wanted to make a banner with 
letters on it. You could print out a, one whole piece of paper with just a big letter on it and then print out more of them to string together on a string and then you can make a banner. So anything that you can think of as far as digitally that you can put together on a slide, you can print it and sell it. So here's some examples of some of the printables that I make. This is a life planner. And what I learned from buying planners, I've always used planners. Planners are such an important part of our lives and they're, they're good for organization and they're very popular. Um, and they're also very popular in printable form because you don't need it to be in a book form. It can be loose pages and then you can put these in a, you can do the, the poke the holes in them. You can punch the holes in them and put them in a binder and you can then you can make the ones you want and put them in the order that you want. And once they're full, you can take them out and you can print new ones and make new ones. So the they're really great for planners. And I, I've always bought planners that had pages that I didn't need and I thought that was kind of a waste. And they also did not have the pages that I wanted to have. So once I learned how to make my own, I just make my own all the time and then it's perfect. It's exactly how you want it to be. So I make another thing called printable affirmations and these are really cool because you really just need a design, an image. If you're a photographer or an artist, you can get your picture in there and then put some words over it and these, these sell really good on Etsy. So this is my mental health printable workbook. This is my best-selling product and this is a good example of something that works great in a if you're a coach if you're a therapist if you're some kind of a you know a medical practitioner that these really work good for that or you know even if you're just an author or you have created a program edu any type of educational stuff these are great because in these workbooks you can put tables and checklists and charts and graphs and all sorts of shapes with information and bullet points. They're just amazing for getting information out there. So I also make to-do lists and these are kind of fun because you can make them in pretty colors and they sell really well on Etsy too. This is my printable undated pastel planner. So um, undated planners do really well as well as um, dated ones. But the undated ones are good because you can just make a new version, print it off every time you need one, and you never have to buy another calendar. You never have to buy another planner. You can just use the same template over and over. Unless you want to change the colors, then you can change it. You can change anything about them, and they're just they're just amazing. These sell really good on Etsy too. So then I also have some oracle cards and I and since I made this video I've also created a set that goes along with these called journal prompt cards and these types of things are fun to make too because they don't have to take up a whole piece of paper you can just make them any size you want and then when you print it off you can put like four or six on a sheet and you can you can the, the sky's the limit for real when it comes to these things because you can make any color you want you can put words you can put phrases and you can put quotes you can put your own designs you can buy designs very fun these things are very fun and very a very good creative outlet and these sell good on etsy as well so these are word find and crossword puzzles this is another this is an example of something just different like you don't you wouldn't think that you could buy these just a piece of paper with this stuff on it but these these are also on etsy so that was a little example of some of the things that i make and that was um, a basic rundown of everything that i'm going to be covering in the course powerpoint printables